All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at some ethics and professional practice problems. And we've already gone through code of ethics and we've already gone through professional liability. And now what we wanna do is look at licensure. So licensing, um, being licensed is a big deal. As you know, as you're trying to get your uh, FE, and so there's some things that engineers uh, talk through and kind of have in common. So um, let's go ahead and look at the first practice problem that dives into licensure. All right. So this one says complete the following statement. Engineers are to uphold the health, safety and public dot, dot, dot. Okay. So would it be A, confidence, B, good? Good to me just doesn't make sense. So engineers are to uphold the health, safety, and public good. No. Uh, public confidence, I can maybe see. Public welfare, I can maybe see. Public trust, I can also see. All right, so we've only ruled out one of these, right? So it seems like some prior knowledge may be needed, but also we could maybe take a look at the handbook to see if we can get some help. So a health. Uh, maybe we could do public confidence and see if anything comes up. Nothing comes up for confidence. See if anything comes up for public welfare. Something does come up. However, a high level of technical expertise, adherence to ethical guidelines is a much threat to public welfare is professional confidence. Okay. What about public trust? And hopefully you can see me searching here at, up at the top of my handbook. Don't see anything for that. Okay. Let's do health comma safety. Ah, okay, something did come up and it keeps coming up. Okay, to safeguard the health, safety and welfare, uh, to safeguard the health, safety and welfare of the public. Health, health, safety, welfare. So I'm gonna go with welfare and that's the one that keeps popping up. It's the one that, uh, professional conduct that kind of says is the goal is to safeguard the health, safety and welfare of the public. So let's just see. All right, let's look at number two. All right. So which of the following methods for determining charges for professional engineering services is considered unethical? All right, so a percentage of the cost. So if I'm charging some services, all right, what would be unethical if I'm a professional engineering company? A percentage of the cost of like the materials and things like that. I don't, I don't think that's a, that's unethical. You need to take a portion to charge for that, right? Contingency basis. So if you don't know what contingency is, it's like uh, you charge based upon something getting done uh, relative to maybe time or speed. So you may charge uh, like a fee 
for how fast you can get it done. So you may say, if I get it done in this amount of time, it'll be a thousand dollars. But if I get it done in twice the amount of time, it'll be two thousand or three thousand dollars. So it's contingent upon uh, how fast you can work, but not the actual work that you'll be doing. And so um, that is a bit unethical because you could like super highball somebody uh, just because it's contingent on your move. So that's, uh, that's not right. Uh, fixed fee. So you may say it costs this to have, you know, the plans that are, here's my fee for doing plans with anybody. And then plus the cost of the materials and things like that for the project. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, and per DM, which is like per line item, uh, nothing wrong with that either. So I didn't mean to put checks there. There's nothing wrong with C having a fixed fee plus the cost and there's nothing wrong with having a per DM. So anytime contingency is put into place, it allows for you to say really anything. So it could be, and this is kind of wild, but depending on, uh, is contingent upon, uh, you bringing us more work. That's our price or, contingent upon how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis like it can be in like the can being it being contingent can really take a step back from the actual work that needs to get done like the plans like the cost of materials and it really focuses more on what things out outside of those things so it's like you going um, it's like your salary being contingent upon if you play basketball or, um, you know, if you are a skater, right? It's contingent and, and those things are not, not very ethical at all. And it, it rules people out and it is unfair when it comes to pricing. So, um, just something to think about there. And so that concludes the licensor section.